How's it going guys? My name is Majid and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my audio setup that I've been using for the last two weeks. It includes the iFi XCAN brand new amp as well as the iFi XDSD which is a DAC plus amplifier. So without further ado let me show you how I've been using these two devices in a stack setup. I reviewed the XDSD, which is a DAC, so a digital to analog audio converter, in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, the link will be in the description section below. It offers DSD, MQA, and high quality audio processing through USB and Bluetooth. It also includes a built in DAC. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use it with the new XCAN from IFI Audio. The XCAN is an amp and it allows you to easily increase the volume of your audio without any distortion, and it offers a few other benefits as well. Both units have the same design, but the XCAN has been upgraded to utilize USB Type C, which is a welcome addition and an improvement over the XDSD as it still uses micro USB. Now, the USB C is specifically used for charging and not audio input. You can hook up your audio device through a 3.5mm jack or Bluetooth. The device also supports balance audio and includes a 2.5 millimeter input on the back as well as a 2.5 millimeter output on the front for, again, balance audio. This is great for users who have the capability to take advantage of this feature and it gives you versatility for this particular device. Both have great battery life and they can be used together in a stack or individually depending on your need. To be clear, the XDSD and the XCAN are sold separately. If you are using them separately, you can connect to each via Bluetooth and output via a, the 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter audio port. If you use them as stack, you're gonna have to go into the DAC first and then the amp. The XCAN comes with audio cable specifically designed for a quick connection and it works pretty well. So if you guys have not seen my review of the XDSD, firstly, you should go and check it out. Link in the description section below. Secondly, the operation of the device is the same. The rotary knob at the front controls the on off functions, volume up, down, and indicates the volume level with color. This is done by using color to display the volume level starting from blue for the lowest and as the volume gets higher, the color changes ending with red, which means the volume is pretty much around 92 to 100% on the device. Now you can still increase volume from there from the audio source that you're using. Now taking a look at the pros, specifically focusing on the XCAN, um, this particular device is very easy to use. You connect it via Bluetooth and plug in your headphones and you're good to go. The XDSD is similar, but you can also connect it to your computer via the USB. The audio quality is great on both these devices. I had no issues with distortion from either unit, whether I was listening individually or in a stack. The audio was clear all the time. The XCAN has the latest version of XBase and XBase 2. Um, I did have this turned on when I was uh, listening to music and I liked how it had a subtle improvement over the audio to increase the bass. It wasn't overpowering. Now, if you're using this in a stack, you can th turn the 3D Plus and XBase mode on both devices, but I preferred only having it turned on for one because it did distort a little bit or it just didn't sound as good as it was with just one. Now it's important to keep in mind that both these devices are meant to be easily portable. They're Bluetooth capable and really connect well with mobile devices. So if you're on the go, if you have a fast lifestyle or you just want to have um, the ability to take your audio setup with you, these are pretty awesome and you should definitely check them out. All right guys, so that's my uh, review comparison of the XGAN and the XDSD. Both these units are made by iFi Audio. I'll put a link down below so you can go check them out. They're actually uh, pretty awesome and they make some high quality devices. So if you're an audio enthusiast, uh, they might have some stuff that you're interested in. So again, link down below. So that's basically it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more to come. And I'll see you next time.